After placing all the contact points, additional graphics are required, such as silkscreen printing. We must first turn on the top overlay layer, as this special layer is used for screen printing. Before you begin creating silkscreen printing, you must open the IPC7351 standard, which describes the requirements for creating a footprint. According to this standard, the following aspects must be considered. No silkscreen outline under the component body. These get covered up during assembly and don't provide any useful purpose. In other words, silkscreen should be visible after installing the component in its courtyard. Silkscreen outlines should be mapped to the maximum component body with one exception, the silkscreen to pad spacing rule clearance to the component body mapping. This distance is determined by the technological capabilities of the manufacturer. We will take the value 0.3 millimeters. Silkscreen outlines should map the component body and not go around pads. Excess silkscreen outlines should be avoided to make room for reference designators locations. Silkscreen outlines should perform a houch outline along the component body package. Let's take a look at applying these standards. Select the line tool. The line thickness is determined by the manufacturer. We will take the default value. According to all the above aspects, it is necessary to create a discontinuous contour according to the dimensions of the component case whose connectors are 15 by 9 millimeters. We switch to the 0.1 millimeter grid to create a line in the desired coordinates and a certain length. It is convenient to use the coordinate display in the information panel in the upper left corner of the work area. XY coordinates indicate the position of the mouse cursor relative to the origin, and the second coordinates, DX, DY, relative to the last mouse click. Thus, when constructing a line in these coordinates, we track its length. When creating, we try to control the clearance of 0.3 millimeters to the contact pads. These are the three steps of the grid. After creating, we check once again that the gap is more than three grid cells. At the end, we need to create the designation of the first contact of the component. The IPC standard also explains how polarity is indicated or the first contact of a component. Pin 1 is identified by extending the silkscreen along the length of pads when component leads extend outward. Bottom only terminals pin 1 is identified by a missing line. We will take an alternative designation and create a circle to indicate the first contact. At the end, check the overall dimensions. Use the Measure Distance tool with hotkeys Control M and check that the width and height of the resulting shape corresponds to the documentation. Use Shift C to clear. Ensure that the minimum distance from pad to screen printing is more than 0.3 millimeters. In this case, the Measure Primitives tool is used. We indicate two objects and get the minimum distance between the boundaries of these objects. And with this tool, we can quickly check all of the gaps of interest between the objects. Once done, hit Shift-C to clear all the dimensions.